Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello everyone. My name is Rizky Laura Mawadi. My name is Bagus Ripamukas and we are from SMA Peros Kota Sorong. We are here to introduce to our project called Tyro, Strength for Dry Cat Food High Protein, Optimization of Processed Chicken Feed as Cat Food to Increase Growth and Development in Domestic Cat Pelly Status. Did you know guys, most Indonesian choose chicken as their main stay side dish? According to data from the Central Statistics Agency or BPS, the production of chicken meat throughout Indonesia reached 3,765,573.09 tons per year in 2022. With the development of the chicken slaughter industry, there will also be a lot of residual or waste materials released, which will harm the surrounding environment. The waste materials from chicken slaughterhouse, including blood, feathers, chicken feet, chicken dropping, and stomach contents, such as gizzard, liver, and intestines. From all of the materials, there is one less popular ingredient, which is chicken feet. Various efforts have been made, starting from making food from chicken feet, collagen, and food ingredients. But this effort has still very ineffective because there is still residual waste from chicken feet. The nutrients contained in chicken feed such as protein, calcium, collagen, etc. are very good for meeting cat needs. Therefore, we created a new innovation called Sayoro as a cat food from chicken feed with the aim of reducing chicken feed waste, adding economic value and benefiting feline growth and well-being. The risk problem from this study are, first, how does Sayoro cat food affect the growth and development of cat? Second, can optimizing the remaining ingredients of chicken feed be an alternative to making dry cat food. Third, can dry cat food be produced individually for cat owners? And the last one is, is there any benefit value for making dry cat food for chicken sellers and the cat owners? And the purpose of this research are, first, to determine the effect of cat feed sayuro on cat growth and development. Second, to overcome the large availability of leftover chicken feed by optimizing into dry cat food. Third, to make it easier for cat keepers to obtain food that can be produced independently. Four, to obtain the useful value of making dry cat food for chicken sellers and cat owners. Next, we move to the step-by-step -step for making the dry cat food. First, clean the chicken feed by washing it with water. After that, boiling the chicken with enough water until boiled. Next, drain the chicken feed and transfer to the slow cooker that has been filled with water. Make sure all the feet are submerged. Cook with soup mode for 15 minutes. After that, cook again in warm mode for 4 until 8 hours until the collagen is formed. Separate the collagen into a sterile container and place it in the refrigerator. Second step is skinning the chicken feet and separate the bones, flesh, and skin. Cut the bone into two parts to make it easier in crushing process. After that, dry it in the sun for approximately 1 until 2 days and can be oven for 15 minutes with temperature of 100 degrees Celsius if the chicken feet are not dry perfectly. You can use dry miller or blender or chopper to mask the dry meat and dry skin. For the bone, you can mask using a mortar pestle and then dry miller it until it becomes powder. Try using a sheath to obtain a fine powder. The last stage is mixing the shank powder and collagen using tablespoon with 4 to 2 ratio. Then stir until it becomes dough. Hold the dough to a size that is easy for cats to consume. After that, it can be dry first in the sun approximately 30 minutes and can be oven for 45 minutes at a temperature of 90 degrees Celsius to dry. After that, the cat feed is ready to be given to the cat and can be stored in a closed container. In this research, we use qualitative and quantitative methods. The qualitative data we get from interview the chicken seller and cat owners, and also the cat hair development and feed favorability. Meanwhile, the quantitative data we get from weight and length increase of cat with variable A and B is treated cat with given sayuro cat food. C and D is treated cat with given 50% sayuro cat food and 50% other cat food. And the last one is E and F is control cat which is not given sayuro cat food. We conducted this research in biology laboratory at Afero Senior High School and we also test protein content and water content of fire cat food which was carried out in food chemistry and biochemistry laboratory at Mataram University. From the laboratory test result obtained, it is known that protein level that contain in fire cat food is reached 27.72% per piece of cat food. This indicates that protein level in sour cat food is very sufficient to meet the balanced nutritional needs of cats. 
And next, for the water level that contain in Sayuro cat food, the water level is the same as dry cat food in general, which is approximately 10% per piece of dry cat food. Based on the table of weight increase of treated and controlled cats, we can see that the treated cat A, which is given Sayuro cat food, is experiencing very significant weight increase compared to cat E and F, which is the control cats. And also for treated cat B, which is given sour cat food, and treated cat C, which is given 50% sour cat food and 50% other cat food, is also experienced steady weight increase. But if we can see the treated cat D, which is given the same weight as cat C, is experiencing weight loss because the cat was given birth in the second week. And for the leg increase of treated and controlled cats, we can see that the treated cat A and B is still experiencing very significant leg increase compared to treated cat C and D and controlled cats E and F. Based on the table of cat hair development, we can see that cats A and B experience a reduction in the amount of shedding as well as very significant increase in hair thickness compared to the other cats. And also the cats C and D experience an improvement in hair quality. Meanwhile, hair development in cats E and F didn't change from initial data to the final data. And next, based on the table of favorability of dry cat food sarah, it showed that all of treated cats like the sarah cat food. And the data from cats A and B showed that the cats really liked the sarah feed given and the cats experienced an increase in appetite. And for cats C and D, the data showed that the cats sometimes still left food. So, the conclusion from this research are First, there is a significant increase in changes in growth and development in cats treated with sour cat food compared to cats fed other food. Second, chicken feed waste material can be optimized into cat food that is high in protein. Third, the production process of making sour cat food is so easy and simple that it can be produced independently by cat keepers. Fourth, sour cat food innovation can add value to the profit of chicken sellers and cat owners. And the suggestions from this research are First, the size of the sour cat food should be made in a size that is not too dense so that cats can easily consume it. Second, for cat keepers and people in general, can make feed with a more attractive visualization if they want to make it an entrepreneurial product. Third, if you want to produce drier feed, you can increase the baking time by one hour at the same temperature. This will also increase the durability of the feed, allowing it to be stored for a longer period of time. That's all the presentation from us. Thank you for watching this video and thank you for attention. And see ya! See ya.